Um, so next we're going to move on to a larger processor and maybe Chip will address some of these concerns that um, Talon brought up. Uh, we have Chip Miller from Abundant Labs and Chip, I have made you a co-host. So you should be able to come right on for us and share your screen. Well, I appreciate that. Can y'all hear me okay? We sure can. All right, good. Um, is um, And if you don't care, make sure Gary, uh, Gary Hughes is also um, able to be a co-host. And Gary um, is, yes, he can, he can come on anytime he wants also. Okay, um, he's going to take over the uh, take over the conversation here in a minute. Um, we are, uh, as uh, she just said, we are a larger scale processor. Um, give you an example in comparison. I don't know if uh, she shared with you how much Simply Extracts does, but we're capable of doing as much as four thousand pounds a day. I apologize. Uh, Chip, can I stop you one minute? Does yes. everyone hear that funny sound in the background? Is that coming through Chip? There, it just went off. Okay. All right. Thank you. There we go. Um, so, the, um, so we we can manage approximately four thousand pounds of hemp a day through our facility, um, which kind of gives you an example of how we will purchase uh, purchase product in fairly large amounts. Um, our typical run size is typ typically somewhere in the neighborhood of 480 pounds a run. Um, and, um, and we typically don't like to do um, less than, say, 2,500 pounds in a, in a, um, in a, a specific genetic. And um, our facility is 25,000 square feet. We're located in Canton, so we're fairly close. And, um, and to the point of, you know, kind of the biomass issues with pricing, um, I will follow right in line with what uh, was just said. There's been such a drive for the cheapest product uh, possible that a lot of the finished product, the derivatives, the full spectrum distillate, uh, broad spectrum, um, which we're capable of making and isolate CBD, has really been driven into the ground. And so we're all managing kind of how we can work in the market to try to um, try to be successful. Um, we do work with Simply Extracts um, as well as a handful of other manufacturers. And we've tried to develop those partnerships through scale and trying to help people to understand that, or once we understand what the volume of the um, end product is. We do do some contract processing, um, which means that we help you all take your product to a, uh, um, some derivative. Um, we are um, uncomfortable in taking it just to crude. Um, we typically will not um, return product out into the market as crude. We are um, more in line to do it to full spectrum distillate or some type of isolate or broad spectrum. And we're happy to um, sit and talk with uh, farmers, um, anybody interested in doing some of that type of work um, to see where we could go with it. And potentially, because of our size, we have access to being able to move some of those uh, bulk products as well. Um, so I want to introduce uh, Gary Hughes here in just a second. He is our chief operating officer. Um, he actually manages the operation of the facility. Um, Stephen Nerlich, who couldn't be with us today, is our chief science officer. And, um, and so when, um, when and if you come to visit the lab and um, want to discuss your product, they, um, we would have all of us in the room so that we could talk about um, every aspect and answer any questions that you might have. So um, I've asked Gary to, um, to run a, a quick video for you to give you an, um, a feel for our facility size and what we do and then he'll uh, he'll take the presentation from here all righty thank you chip uh can everybody hear me okay we can okay well i'm gonna go ahead and uh try to share my screen so give me one second all right you've got it welcome to abundant Lab. We believe in the science of quality. 
We're an industrial sized hemp extraction facility producing full and broad spectrum distillates as well as isolates for finished products. In a budding industry where we know many people, including ourselves, who are using hemp products for their health benefits, we wanted to bring a new level of quality to make sure only safe products are entering the market. How do we do that? Let's take a tour. We understand to get the best quality flour, it all starts with our farming partners. Therefore, we invested in farming operations who have experience in multiple crops, including hemp, allowing us to understand the flower's quality before it lands in our warehouse. We also partnered with a local college with an extensive agricultural program to do research and development for future harvests. This program has already provided us great feedback, which we've been able to apply to our growing practices. When we receive the flour into our climate controlled warehouse, it is entered into our quality management system so it can be traced all the way into our client's hand. Once we have assigned the lot number, it is immediately tested for quality and compliance before going into production. Once the flour is released from quality control, we then prepare it for extraction. To provide the highest quality extraction, we evaluated all the different methods determining a super cryo ethanol method gave us the cleanest, most consistent quality. To accomplish these super cold temperatures, we use liquid nitrogen, which allows us to drive the ethanol down to negative 90 degrees. Our massive centrifuges are jacketed, which allows us to hold the temperatures within five degrees throughout the process. The centrifuges also use centrifugal force, turning it over 800 RPMs to make the extraction process as efficient as possible. Once the extraction process is complete, the fluid is filtered multiple times and kept in a closed loop as it moves into ethanol recovery. We use falling film distillation, which is a tried and true technology with over 80 years of history. We have found this system to be incredibly efficient for us, returning well over 90% of the ethanol to our workflow. Once the material is in a clean winterized form with all the solvent removed, we complete the fractionating process with a dual pass white film distillation system. We were able to combine a unique vacuum system with the distillation system, achieving internal pressures lower than anyone in the industry expected. This gives us the ability to separate the cannabinoids at lower temperatures, providing a better quality full spectrum distillate for our clientele. To provide the highest quality isolate CBD, we have developed our own reaction system for crystallizing the CBD into a beautiful white powder. We process all of our isolate through the system twice to guarantee the purest form possible. Once completed, we use food grade grinders and ovens to make sure it meets all standards in the industry. In many cases, our clients and or international governmental policies require we separate the THC or other molecules from the oil. We use pharmaceutical grade chromatography equipment to separate these items, allowing our customers to receive compliant material for their needs. To make sure we meet all of our customer expectations with regard to their specifications, quality, and consistency, we invested in the best analytical equipment available. The equipment in our testing lab allows us to take samples through the process and test it for changes. By having the ability to get results in less than 30 minutes, we can respond to changes in the material and adjust the parameters as needed. There's no question that sets us apart from many of our competitors who have to wait days to make adjustments. When dealing with an organic material, the quicker you can react to changes, the better. For more information about Abundant Labs, check us out on social media and our website at AbundantLabs.com. We look forward to working with you. Okay, uh, that makes my job really easy. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it explained a lot about our facility and everyone was able to uh, actually uh, get an idea of our size and our equipment and our processes. Uh, we do have an open door policy that uh, if you'd like to come and actually take a tour, uh, we could actually arrange that. So, um, you know, we, again, we, we like a good open door. Uh, what I do want to emphasize is that um, we, uh, we have our CGMP uh, certificate. Uh, we're also kosher certified and we're about a month out from being ISO 9001. So uh, we do, uh, do believe in the uh, quality of science and uh, in the perfection of what we do with the product to make sure that we're giving it uh, the most uh, safe, healthy product that we can put out there on the market and help all of our farmers and, and other manufacturers that we deal with. Um, 
we can go, uh, if, if you would like to see that video again, please go to our website and go under videos um, and please share that with anybody you would like. Um, again, as, uh, as Chip said, uh, we do work with a lot of other processors. Um, we believe that this, uh, this industry, uh, if we hang tight together and share, um, it just helps all of us. So uh, that's pretty much uh, what we have. Um, if you have any questions, I'd like to answer. Well, Gary and Chip, if somebody just got all excited watching this video and wants to grow from you, what, for you, what do they do? Um, we buy, as Chip said, we can actually process up to 4,000 pounds a day. Um, we, uh, we do have uh, a program for our growers that uh, if you have your biomass, um, our minimum uh, our minimum buy is usually about 2,500 pounds. Uh, we would like to see COAs on it. Um, we have a, an onboarding process that we do so that we make sure that uh, your COAs are good, your THC levels were right. We'd like to know what type of uh, pesticides or chemicals that you've used because um, we're very particular in what we're gonna put in our machines. Um, we will then do a, a sample We'll have you send us a sample, um, which we will put through our own tests through our own lab. And then if, uh, if we like that, we'll go ahead and get a larger amount, do a small process. And that way we can help tell you what your yields are gonna be um, and, and how we can share on that if we need to. Okay. And both you and Talon have mentioned the pesticides. Uh, what kind of pesticides do you not want to see? You know, most people are going to be using some Dipel for some worms and, you know, pretty soft chemistry, but what is it you really don't want to see? Um, you know, that's, that's a great question. I mean, we are going to see, uh, you know, we do see some pesticides, but it's, it's getting into, you know, we can, we can deal with some of the DTs a little bit, but we're just, we're just looking for something that's out of the ordinary. And then we'll go, I hand that off to the chief science officer and let him, him deal with it. Okay. <laughs> um, that, that's, why, that's why we have him. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we'll handle that. Okay. Katie, we have some questions coming through. Um, yeah, we do. Um, what is the going price for biomass? The uh, right now, um, depending on what that that is, we're probably looking around two dollars to two fifty um, per pound or per point. I'm sorry. Um, again, it, it comes in what that quality, where that CBD uh, percentage is. Um, that's pretty much we'll grade it when we when we see it. Um, and that seems to be it for questions right now. Okay, we have any other questions okay. at this point? That was a great presentation and great, nice video you guys got done. <laughs> and <laughs> well, thank I, you. Yes, and we, we appreciate uh, everybody out there and all the farmers. And again, this is this has just got to be one big community, and and uh, and we're here for that. We're all. It takes all of us to make this work. Yeah. Well, and this is the tough stage of it. I mean, I think most of us that have worked with new crops could have predicted how this is going to go. And these next couple of years are going to be the ones where the people that really want to make it go are going to hang with it and, and make it work. So right. and one more thing for any of the farmers out there, if you go to our website, we do have a, a form uh, for our farmers that you can go ahead and start uh, the onboarding process. And that way we can get a hold of you and, and uh, see how we can move forward. Okay. Well, if we don't have any other questions at this point in time, um, thank you very much, Gary and Chip. And we'll move on thank to you. our quick research update. Thank you. And uh, then we'll just open thank it you. up for questions and answers. And there is so much good networking going on across this chat. And I really appreciate that because that's what I miss from the face-to-face -face meetings, everything that's taking, you know, that takes place in the hall. And I'm looking right now at our chat is like the hallway. <laughs> you know? So 